she's not, uh, not feeding her that much, only one meal, but she's still getting bigger and bigger. But no panting, uh, uh, no, no vomiting? Uh. No. But eat a lot and drink a lot? Yeah. Urinate a lot? Yeah. So we have to do the tests, like x-rays. Mm. And uh, blood test, uh, if you want to know, know exactly the, yeah, okay. the cause, because otherwise. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video. Liver tumor and a female Jack Russell, 12 years old, not spayed. Sunday, October 19, 2004. This 12 year old female Jack Russell, not spayed, has a big swelling on the abdomen, as you can see, even from the outside and uh, nobody knows how long this swelling has been going on but x-ray shows that it's a splenic tumour it's quite a big one like a, it's more like a tennis ball size but actually after the, she went for the operation uh, mm. the scar only slightly bigger the scar didn't go down no, no that one nothing to do that one's the outside the breast tumour right the breast tumor was done, yeah, but there was nothing to do with this planning tumor. This inside, that was under the skin, right? History. She's not, uh, not feeding her that much, only one meal, but she's still getting bigger and bigger. But no panting, uh, no, no vomiting. Uh. No. But eat a lot and drink a lot. Yeah. Urinate a lot. Yeah. The last hit, you don't know exactly when. About three, four months ago. It wasn't two months ago. No discharge, yeah? Huh? No. And the dog is still active? Yeah. Okay, turn the side now. Take some of stand, stand normally. Huh? So we have to do the test, like x-rays, mm -hmm. and uh, blood tests, huh? if you want to know, know exactly the, yeah, okay. the cause going the other one. X-ray discussion among vets. Is it ovarian season? This is purple, right? Uh, Twelve years old, yeah. He had a memory tumor removed early on by another vet. Memory gland tumor that is removed. But this is inside. Yeah, this is a big one. No? I don't know. Yeah, it will go into as aspiratory. No? I mean, could it, because this dog not not spayed, ah. Uh? Your brain can feel a lump there. So, could it be ovarian cyst? Uh? That was the thing I was thinking of. Oh, ovary. Uh, but it did have a breast tumor removed by another vet. Mm. So, so it could be la. Oh, there's it could huh? be tumor. Most likely tumor. Tumor of what they say? Liver? Cannot be liver, right? Not likely to be liver. Yeah, liver. So we wait for the blood test. Huh? So the only thing I can think of is uh, ovaries. Oh, the ventral dorsal. Ventral dorsal, where is the lump now? It's here, so. Where is it? Uh? The lump. Still there, uh, here. It should be on the left side. Uh, below the stomach. Is there some blood? Abdominal synthesis. Uh. X-ray discussion with the owners. Oh, this is the X-ray of the dog, and uh, you can see the lateral view, the tumor, the splenic tumor is from here to here. Yeah, it's a big, this big splenic tumor. Yeah. Jack Russell, female, not spit, 12 years old, splenic tumor, but uh, without any other signs. Still eating a lot, drinking a lot, and active, pees a lot. October 19 to Jiran 4, Topaya Vets surgery tomorrow, Monday. Sedation. Warning, this video contains surgical procedures. Viewer's description is advised. Anesthesia.
Surgery. Surgical technique, partial lobectomy. First, incise the liver around 2 cm below the tumor. Second, the liver loop is fractured. Third, blood vessels and bind ducts inside parenchyma are ligated. Bleeding is controlled by electrocoagulation. Fourth, the capsules below the incision is ligated. And lastly, the loop below the tumor is electrocyzed. First, incise the liver below the tumor. Second, fractured the liver loop. Third, ligate blood vessels and bind ducts. Four, ligate the liver parenchyma shown near arrow. Lastly, electroaccession of the liver loop. Post op check. 29 October 2004, eight days after removal of the liver tumor, the liver tumor result shows that. Uh, it's a hepatocarcinoma, and this is the report. Go to the doctor. So it's only eight days, and okay, we see the incision. The incision is quite long. They turn to the see the stomach upside down. Uh, okay, now. The stomach is abdomen is still swollen because actually the dog is fat and there's the, the tumors are more than are widespread in the liver. Now you can see today is only the eighth day, so it's best not to remove the stitches. The dog is healthy, the dog is eating and active. Now this dog had the breast tumor. Breast tumor was removed by another vet. Here, it has been removed by another vet eight months ago, and uh, there was no histopathology, so it might be it might be uh, cancerous or not. In any case, the liver liver tumors is diagnosed has by the lab report has uh, hepatocellular carcinoma, and it's a malignant tumor that was removed eight days ago. Now, this dog had not been spayed, so it might be better to have spayed the dog when uh, she was younger. That may prevent the breast tumour, and uh, this breast tumour may be malignant and it might have spread to the liver. So it's hard to tell now. The dog is 12 years old, female Jack Russell unspayed. The blood test result shows that the liver enzymes are above normal values, indicating hepatitis or liver disorder. As you can see, the ALT and the AST values are higher than the normal value of 59 and 81, respectively. In conclusion, consult your vet early when you notice abdominal swelling of your pet. Spay your dog early because Spain dog seldom develops breast tumors. And this Jack Russell, she had a big breast tumor removed 8 months ago. The other vet did not send the tumor for histopathology. It is possible that the liver tumors are secondary growth from the breast tumors. The owner has been informed that radiotherapy and chemotherapy are optional for this old dog. The liver is filled with smaller tumors. However, only the largest tumor, as seen in the X-ray, was removed. <laughs>